Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run. Um, no, it's Kingdom. It's Cookie Run Kingdom. I swear, it's Cookie Run Kingdom. Anyway, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and dwell back into the land of. No, this isn't it. We're looking for the world map and uh, the continent. We're we're gonna go back into the land of Beast Yeast, which I'm wondering how many extra modes that they might add in regards to this because we have the stuff from Crispia and now the stuff for Beast Yeast. So, hmm. It's going to be pretty interesting what the future holds for Kicker Run Kingdom. But anyways, we're back into this, and we have our primary team over here, rolling back with the story and seeing how much deeper we can get, which is hopefully a lot more deeper than the previous episode, because we only got to, like, two big cutscenes, which was a majority of the video, and then one level. But by the way, if you get all the stars in this level, that's... Oh my gosh, that's 2,000 crystals, and add that with the other things, that's like 4,500 crystals? Mmm. Gotta be honest. That's good eating. Anyway, with that being said... <clears throat> I'm gonna try and read comments from the video getting magic candies for cookies. So, you know, just I just go ahead and try and get the magic candies for their cookies, you know? Anyway, with that being said, if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on these videos, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, more yeast spores, and then yeast spores. It's a yeast spore? More yeast spores, of course. <clears throat> it could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, that's what matters the most. And wait, what is this? Beasties. This land radiates with the power of the beast before you. Unfolds a landscape unlike anything you've seen in Crispia. Okay, but what does that mean? It just, it, all that means is, hey, you're in Beasties now. Uh, this battle, uh, cookies will be adjusted. Uh, topping bonus effects. Mm. And also, spore dispersal. Kiki will gain spore points whenever certain enemies use specific skills or get hit. Okay, seems pretty interesting. And healing decrease, HP shield. Alright, great. So, trying to go through this is going to be a hassle. But anyways, while I go through this, I may as well instantly go through some comments. Because, you know, we got to go through these levels anyway. Unless if there's some cutscene that plays. I knew it. Can we really find Dark Enchantress Cookie in this land, pure vanilla cookie? We must. And yet, considering our limited information and strength... It might be reckless for us to go searching for her this moment. Right you are, pure vanilla cookie. We wouldn't even know where to start looking. The objective of this expedition is learning more about what Dark Enchantress Cookie is scheming here in Beast Yeast. And to do that, we must first find out why Dark Enchantress Cookie has chosen Beast Yeast as her stronghold. Uh, because it's a place full of beasts? So that's probably a place where no one can even reach her because every, everyone will get shredded by the beasts. There is something hidden in this land. Something that cannot be found in Crispia. I'm certain of it. Oh, she's just trying to protect White Lily Cookie. Quote, unquote, protect. And by protect, just guard her so no one actually finds her. But what could it be? We'll need to gather more information about this place to find out. See? That's where I come in. Well... All we've seen so far is this endless jungle teeming with strange monsters. Do cookies even live on beasties? Obviously, crumbs for brains. But, yeah, he, I mean, he is a cookie, let's be honest. You sure talk a lot for your size. My size? I'm almost as big as you! From what I've heard, Batches of cookies live scattered across beast yeast as they've learned to thrive despite its harsh conditions. I'm certain that meeting those cookies will be of vital importance if we are to learn more about this land. Cookies whose names are found only in legends. Well, if those legends are true, then that's going to come to our side. Because we'll realize, oh, there's more to this place than we expected. Anyway, I may as well shred through comments while I go through here. Uh, let's set it to, oh, I can only set it to 1.5, okay. Uh, with that being said, Sonic Gamer left a comment saying, My recovery from gastritis was indeed a speedy one. I was able to recover by New Year's, which I was glad for, because honestly, you, New Year's would have been slightly boring without alcohol. Hands yeah, that is true at that point. Victory. I have some alcohol myself, but I don't drink it often. Which, by the way, oh, that's a piece of a crispy biscuit. Considering how many cutscenes that we might be encountering here, let me go through a few comments pretty quickly, because there's quite a lot here. There's a few from Smart and Spiral, with one saying, Oh my gosh, seems like I... Uh, beating a hard mode was in Guild Alliance. Yeah, sure, I guess. Another comment left is, oh my, they're adding four more magic candies? Finally. Well, I thought they added one recently before that. Maybe they did? I don't know. Well, I guess, no, Snow Sugar, right? I mean, that counted. Uh, another comment from you just says, uh, one time I was watching the Kick Run tutorials mostly, but can't wait for the anniversary update in Kick Run Kingdom. I just finished beating episode 18 story mode. I'm proud of you because that last boss can be a pain, so I'm actually glad that you were able to beat that boss. Oof. And also a comment from, uh, wait, Augmentin? 
they say hey hyper hives do you have any tips for beginner players i struggle with coins and also xp star jellies uh it's hard for me to just recommend stuff at the beginning but i'd say really you don't need to shred all of your materials at once you can save them if you choose so but also be sure to try and be as active as you can so like Try and expand as much as you can, play the game as much as possible, uh, try and upgrade cookies that are versatile to you or others, and hopefully that you just get lucky by pulling for good cookies. But that's all I can really say. Anyway, what is this? I must reveal it. The secret of cookie creation. Oh no. <sighs> What's wrong, pure vanilla cookie? Ah, uh, I thought I heard a familiar voice from somewhere. I must have been mistaken. Let's continue ahead. It was just my all-timers coughing. <laughs> oh, I should not have said that, whatever. Anyway, wait. Yeast spore? More yeast spores? Even more yeast spores! The yeast spores just- Imagine that's the force enemy swipe. It's like, yeast spore, more yeast spores, even more yeast spores. The yeast spores just don't stop. Okay, that's funny. Also, Rogue, for, uh, Rogue 40 left a uh, comment saying, Comic question of the day. I definitely think Creamy Unicorn's magic candy benefits them the most because as far as I know, there aren't any healer cookies. Uh, who, or any, there aren't any healer cookies who can deal damage. So being able to heal, deal damage, and even give status effects can be very helpful. That's what I thought too. There was, oh, we got a, a fungus effect. Two people got a fungus effect. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, Pure Vanilla is confirmed to say, for my queen. Which, what does that mean? Who's the queen? Did you watch me? I... Yeah. Are you the queen? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess. By the way, quickly, let's go through some more. Moto Wolf, to your left a few comments. One saying, I have school tomorrow. So, a gamer? Are you happy that's tomorrow's school? Probably not. I mean, who would be happy that school is tomorrow? Unless if you get to hang out with friends. Another other comment you left is, My Rai Kiki is now two star ascension. And I miss Molo77, or I don't know their name. Maybe they changed their name? I don't know, but... Eh, if they're still around, then uh, they probably moved on to bigger and better things. But hey, that's a part of growing up. We all grow up, we all move on, and some maybe there's a chance that all of you may not be here anymore, and maybe I'll just be left in the dust, or maybe new people might find me out. I don't know. But let's keep the support on the series going, and the channel going in general, because I love each, each and every one of you. Uh, who are seven minutes in cheese, but what is this? Whoa, you found a biscuit! Let's try it out. Okay. Choose a cookie to equip a biscuit. Oh, of course, it has to be you. It's now or never. Let's go. Want to want want to equip a biscuit? Go to biscuits. All right. Yep, these are biscuits. Biscuits can make cookies so powerful. Let's select one. Fine. Here's some info on the biscuit. By the way, different cookies require different types of biscuits. Depending on rarity, biscuits can offer a different number of bonus effects. If you ever come across a rare biscuit, make sure to check it out. Did I mention that there are different types of biscuits? Well, there are types of bonus effects too. If the type of bonus effect doesn't match the type of the biscuit, the cookie will not be able to put that effect to use. But if you wish to keep that bonus effect, you can change its type later on by attuning it later. Let's try and equip the biscuit. Fine, I guess I have to do it with you. Whoa, a biscuit! I feel- I can feel the power! Want more power? Try leveling it up. Here, I have all that's needed. Let's try leveling it up. Hit that button. Fine. To level up a biscuit, you're gonna need some bites and some coins. Yeah, I brought some needed bites. Now choose how much you want to raise the level. See? That affects have the powers increased. Now all that's left is pressing button to confirm. Fine. See? Easy peasy. The, be uh, the better the biscuits get, the more powerful the cookies get. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so we have one... E okay, so this one's for uh, supports, this one's for ambushes, this one's for defenders, and this one's for charges. And increased cooldown, though. Hmm. These might be pretty good. Alright, I have an idea. I hope we can take them off later. We can take them off any time now, do I? Let's, let's, I let's just check this route real quick. Uh, res we can reset, attune, break down, reset. Welcome. I've heard that if it, uh, if you're here, it means you've learned a thing or two about biscuits. Or biscuits. Want to reset a biscuit? You won't be able to do it anywhere else. Resetting a biscuit will remove all its bonus effects, but you can reset them individually. To reset a biscuit, you will need some rare biscuit dough, a rare ingredient found in only in beasties. For only biscuit dough holds so much mysterious power. Find biscuit dough somewhere. I just accidentally skipped that by pressing the space, the space bar. Oh, but it costs... I guess that's just stuck to you now. Because if I reset it, then that gets rid of all this stats. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, fine. Let me read for you a few more comments before I actually get on uh, with the level because I gotta read a comic question of the day anyway. So, Shafira Raganasikov left a comment saying, Hey, Hyper Himes, if you were given a soul gem of your own, what shape would it be? What color would it be? And also, what type of power would you wish for? Alright. 
And, uh, oh, and you said this is also for a story where I'm sorry for responding late. I'm hope hopefully that I can get, uh, get these responses out to you sooner. Uh, well, personally, it would probably be the same shape as, like, my logo, my little H logo that you see, that you see at the beginning of the videos. It would be yellow. It would probably be the skill of creation. So basically anything that I can come up with, it will just exist. It's kind of like what Golden Cheese Cookie does, except that's more of the power of greed and having things done in hologram. It's kind of like more of the aspect of like, oh, if I want something to appear, I can make it appear. If I, if I want to make this land appear, I can make it appear. If I want a drink to appear in my hand, it can appear. Because as long as, I, as my brain can think it, then guess what? I can do it. But anyway, for a common question of the day, I guess I was going to ask something in regards to, uh, you know... I, I was gonna ask something in regards to beasties, but also I want to ask something in regards to story. I don't know, but uh, you know what? Let's do something kind of creative with this. Uh, oh my gosh, look at that map. I just want to go back to the continent. All right, check this out. There's only two levels available right now. You have Crispia and you have Beasties. If you wanted to add your whole entire new continent to the Cookie Run world, to Earthbred, to whatever it was, what would it be and what would you want in it? Like, for example, you have Crispia, which is kind of like, you know, the normal lands where all the normal ancients are, I guess, uh, except for White Lily, I guess. But then you have Beastly, uh, Beastly, Beast Yeast, which is more of a, a ravenous land filled with a lot of mysterious creatures and probably ones that are lethal too, but they hold a lot more mystery. So that's pretty interesting. So maybe you could have a land that's a lot more like fire based. Maybe a land that's a little bit more on the insane like light side. Uh, something that's really happy filled. Something that's straight up maybe based around just sweets and candy in general. Kind of like a candy land esque board. I don't know. It would be pretty interesting to kind of get creative with these ideas. Because maybe you can talk about what levels you can encounter. What cookies you can find in there. And how much you can develop the story on that. I don't know. Be sure to tell me down in the comments below. Anyway, let's get to our next part of the story. Which, whew. We gotta deal with even more. Wait. You can still equip toppings or beast kits on your team. Do you wish? Oh, it's because they don't have beast kits. Right. Well, you know what? Well, I too I'm going to get you uh, this. Because why the plug not? Because, no, no, wait. Oh, they get increased defense. Okay. And I don't have anything for that. Great. Uh, so I guess that levels you up a tiny bit. Uh, whatever. I think we can manage without the beast kits, even though we're probably going to need to grind a lot for those beast kits. Uh, that'll be for later, but this is now, and what's now is that we get to deal with the, all these plebs. So many spores in the way, and so little time to get rid of them. I and mean, we only have three Oh, they're sluggish. No. Get those plebbing mushrooms off of me. And then blast off all the, all the spores. And the moonlight just sweeps up just a clean house. Hello? That nice sound. Nice. You look so cute, but I know that's just a clickbait face. You're actually like deadly. You're a straight up virus. What on earth, Brett, are those? They keep dividing and dividing and dividing. Is it your first time seeing yeast spores? Huh? This is what all your dough is made up of. Yeast spores? Oh, that's weird. They're the smallest particles that make up all dessert creatures. Okay, sure, but why are they literally our size? Uh, the smallest? How are they the smallest? They're bigger than we are! By the way, there's actually one of those creatures in the bushes. Even bigger. Don't know how that's possible, but maybe it's a bush design? That's beast yeast for you! Even the spores are huge! Oh, don't tell- do you know what this means? There are colossal titan cookies. Because if those are their spores for beasties, could you imagine what those are like if, if they all combine into a giant cookie? Oh, they seem happy. Somehow. Well, they just spam. I wonder if they want us to follow them. Surely they're not leading us into a trap, right? Dear Vanilla, we just spent the last three levels beating up hordes upon hordes of them. This clearly isn't a trap. Uh, yep, I'm not going any further. So long, huh? He already disappeared. What? He promised to help us, and then he just runs off on his own? This land is full of traitors, I tell you. It's just straight up traitors. No. Tis a sad day. We lost a friend that I didn't even consider a friend. They just kind of used did us. Did you watch me? Yes, I did. I wish I could have given you more, but... Oh, whatever. We also got the Zesty Biscuit, which that's a star. Oh, it makes magic cookies strong. Okay, sure, I got you. All right, so that's good. Anyway, there's still a few, fair amount of comments here, which I'll quickly read one from Annie and Funhouse saying, Comment question, I like Cream Unicorn's Cookies Magic Candy since it gave Cream Unicorn Cookie Dreamy Fire Powers. You gotta be honest, that made Cream Unicorn Cookie so much more better. Uh, but yeah, and wh what is this? Spore Moth. Okay, so we have yeast spores, more yeast spores, and spore moths. So they're slowly growing. Oh boy. Alright, 
Also, plumbing. Wait, I forgot. That. Okay, undercover elixir left a couple, uh, quick comment saying XP jellies are super easy to get if you build all the houses and try to max them out, or at least get them to level 10. And if you do Dower of Sweet Chaos, it's so easy that I've started to max out common cookies because I have so many. <laughs> oh, wow. And since I already maxed out all my epics. Sheesh, I really need to get on that grind. There's a couple more cookie houses I actually can build, and all my cookie houses are actually aren't even at max level. So I definitely gotta get a bigger start on that. But anyway, you get the plug out of my house. Even though this isn't my house. It's just a land full of spores. They're hopping. <laughs> Why are they so fast? They're spores. They don't really define themselves with movement. They're just like boing, just swerve, they just swift all over the place. Oh, we shouldn't have followed them. Now we're completely lost. Where are we? <gasps> Everyone, take a look around you. There's flowers. <gasps> Cookie crumbs? What? It was a trap after all. Yeah, huh. I wonder what predicted that. Hmm. I don't want to say I told you so. I'm just going to scream it with me knowing that I'm going to die. Huh? Is it a monster hungry for cookie dough? And that caramelian cookie rascal. He knew about this whole thing and didn't say a word. And he tricked us with those little spores. All right. Note to self: never trust that plumbing chameleon cookie again. They're just a two-faced plum lord. All right. Well, we'll take. We'll, we should hopefully take down this plum easily. We just did. We just obliterated the moth. I'm not gonna say it yet. Now I can say it. Bless you. The powder at you. Bless you. I can't see. At you. Bless you. Achoo. Bless you. Achoo. Bless you. <sighs> Finally, we can breathe a little. Uh, what's that? Now that the spores are gone, I see something twinkling over there. No, it cannot be. I must reveal it. The secret. Oh, it's a part of her soul jam. A shard of the light of freedom. Freedom. The light of freedom, you say? Is it similar to your light of truth? Yeah, everyone has a light of some sort. You know, Pivano has a light of truth, White Lily has a light of freedom, and even Hollyberry, Golden Cheese, and Dark Cacao have their own lights. And I'm pretty sure that's the voice of the Soul Jam. Yes. I carry the light of truth in my Soul Jam, just like White Lily Cookie carried the light of freedom in hers. White, White Lily Cookie? Oh. I thought... It faded away when White Lily Cookie became Dark Enchantress Cookie. And yet, now it feels as if the Light of Freedom is calling out to me. Pure Vanilla Cookie, wait! Huh? What the plug just happened? What, what, what happened? What a beautiful night. We got Raisin Bread, or Biscuit Dough, I'm sorry. Uh, there's actually a few comments left on this, which, uh, what, wait, what did I say? One by one? One day, the spore forest. Huh. Okay, so, before we get into that, let's read a few comments. Like, there's a few from an idiot. One saying, Magic Candy tier list for you because you're uh, not a master at Kick Your Own Kingdom. One's Parfait, two Cream Puff, three Squid Ink, four Financier, five Sorbet Sark, and honorable mentions Captain Caviar, Pinecone, and Tea Knight. Huh. Honestly, I thought Tea Knights was going to be a lot higher. Anyway, your other comment says Hyper Himes. You know that at level 10, they got a unique buff to their Magic Candy, right? No, I know that. I'm just saying that I don't have the materials for that if I were to make the Magic Candies a bigger level. Because I'm pretty sure at each 10 level, they do get a better buff. But anyway, another comment from Smiling Ramen says, Could you do a video on the new Kicker and Kingdom leaks? Because there's a leak where there are cookies before the Ancients existed, but that's just a theory. Also, it's confirmed that White Lily Cookie is coming to Kicker and Kingdom on the third anniversary. It's a good thing I read that comment by the time that this update came out. And personally, I don't focus on leaks because I usually focus on things that are official because I don't want to spoil anyone's time trying to play through these games if they want to be surprised by it. I'm not much of a Kicker and Leak exposer. I'm more of like a Kicker and Kingdom enjoyer. Anyway, we have Tangulu Gora. Great, along with some spores, by the way, so that's great. So we'll probably do this level and then end the video by reading a few more comments that's available. So what the plump happened to Pure Lily? Or Pure... F I said a ship name, I said it. Eh? You... Incredible. The same yeast spores that make up the cookie body thriving in the wild. I have never seen anything like it. Despite the endless research I've done, 
This place still continues to amaze me. Beasties must hold the truth of how cookies came to be. I'm sure of it. I must reveal it. The secret of cookie creation. So this is kind of, I guess this is what provoked one of White Lily's interest of to find out, oh, here's how cookies are made. Which, wait, she's on her team. This is my penitence. What, what did you get? What did you get here? Why did you just, wait, it's, Pure Vanilla was on my team. Pure Vanilla got taken out. What is going on? What was that? Did we all have the same dream somehow? <sighs> that was definitely White Lily Cookie. Could that have been a fragment of White Lily Cookie's memories? White Lily Cookie's memory? The light of freedom. This shard holds a part of White Lily Cookie's soul within. I'm certain of it. Is it possible that the voice that called for me came from this fragment? Now hold up! Can we really be sure that this isn't one of Dark Enchantress Cookie's sinister tricks? Wizard Cookie's right. Remember how Dark Enchantress Cookie used White Lily Cookie's memories to lure us in and free herself? See, I would believe that, but the only reason why I don't is because I feel like the power of the Soul Jam is something that Dark Enchantress Cookie fully doesn't have. Like she can wholly, like she can fully hold over a replica of just White Lily Cookie herself as a physical body, but I don't think there's any way that you can actually imitate the Soul Jam with the amount of power. Even if it's dispersed and split into multiple pieces, each piece still holds a significant amount of power. It doesn't matter how many times you can shatter it, it still holds power. I suspected a trap here in Beast Yeast since the very beginning. Hmm. If that is the case. We're only playing into Dark Enchantress Cookie's plans, but whatever she is planning, this shard might provide a clue. I think we should take it with us. And if it really is a piece of White Lily Cookie's memories, it's all the more reason to keep it. Alright, that is a good place where we can end that episode. But I got so good for... <laughs> now, about my promised treasure. Why is she, is she smaller? At least in comparison to Moonlight, she's, she's quite small. But, not even joking. She at level 31? All of a sudden, I had Pure Vanilla on my team, and all of a sudden, no, you have White Lily now. How? What? The game did not automatically give it to me, right? No, Pure, no, pure Vanilla is still there. Oh, I didn't even notice this before. It was right there with the skills and stuff. Mmm. Alright. Now... I gotta end the video, but I do want to read just a few more comments. Not many, though, because there's only a few left. With one coming from uh, Princely the First, who usually leaves rather long comments. With one saying, Comic Crush of the Day. I wouldn't say that would be Creamy Unicorn Cookies, Magic Candy, nor Financiers. So it would be between Captain Caviar Cookies and Pinecone Cookies. Pinecone is because uh, he's so gosh darn cute. And Captain Caviar because back in the day, I would always use him in my teams. You know, when uh, he used to be in Arena One-Shot comps. Yeah, I remember that. Man, I'm pretty sure there's people still use them kind of like me sometimes, but it's whatever. Anyway, I think that's kind of it for all the comments of the video. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, yeah, sure, that's basically it. So, for with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here because, oh, there's a lot more. Oh, oh, these are for all the levels. So, a 1, 6, then 1, 8, then 1, 18, 122, 125, then 129. Hmm. Okay, so like I mentioned, with that being said, I'm going to end the video right here. If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends who enjoy my kick around content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, I'm pretty sure that's that chameleon pleb. It's got to be. No, 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 wait. That's Silver Bell. That's Silver Bell. Huh. Oh, maybe they're just guarding the area. That's why. Maybe in the next episode, we can actually get to the Path of the Fairies. I don't know, but... As I mentioned, in the description, you'll see all links to my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kicker on YouTube stuff for absolutely free, a link to my Discord server called the Hype News Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my Ko-fi where if you want to be a member for $1, $5, and $10, you'll receive perks and benefits. But above all else, I will see you and the Guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype News.